Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle from Nature Reliance School and Survival Instructor at AnsDepot.com. We had so many people dig our 101 uses of paracord video, so uh, a lot of people were asking us to do another one, so we did one on 101 uses of a bandana. Uh, again, there's a lot of good stuff in here, useful tactics for both survival and camping and just general everyday life, as well as we've tried to throw some humor in there too, so enjoy. Clean your glasses. If you have an eye injury and you need to patch it until you can get to emergency help, you can put uh, a bandana in the eye socket to hold the eye in and then use your triangular bandage to hold that in place. And basically the, the bandana serves as a filler for the eye socket play Marco Polo with a blindfold on or any other game with a blindfold. Marco. Polo. Marco. Polo. Marco. You can use a wet one to make smoke signals to send a message. Right now I told my wife to bring the hot dogs. As a sweet headband, play the big boy version of capture the flag. a fashionable dog accessory to be representing. My wife and I use them all the time as impromptu holders for edible medicinal plants. And in this case today, a quick snack of blackberries. Man, those are gonna be good snacks as a tether for your canoe paddle. You can use this up on your tarp setup, your hammock, your tents, wherever, along the guidelines so that people don't run into them. You can also utilize this as a signaling device for a survival structure, uh, even if it's a debris hut. If you got a debris hut, you wanna put some sort of orange bandana or some kind of signaling device on it. So if you're in the hut and there is a search and rescue team out looking for you, it makes it easier for you to be seen. With a patch kit or uh, some duct tape or something like that, you can use your bandana to help hold together a busted radiator pipe. This is real short term. As a sun protector, a weapon sling like David and Goliath. A dog muzzle for cedar. To blow your nose. You can use it as a dog leash. Cedar. Come on, Cedar. As a tether for your canoe paddle. Another really short term auto fix is to use it as a plug if you lose your radiator cap or if it blows off. And then again, put this in there to hold your fluid in, again, very short term. As a face mask, a tactical tube top. Freeze. To pick up a girl. What's up, girl? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> when it's raining outside, you can help it, use this to help soak up the water, unless it's a real deluge. Go for it? Yeah. As a toilet paper. <laughs> For those of you who know what a blowout kit, your Jeep might look like mine. <laughs> so, I mean, I keep a tourniquet up front where it's easy to find too, but I also keep an uh, orange bandana tied to the top of my blowout kit. Now again, blowout kit will typically have a red grab bag or grab handle on it anyway. That way, in an emergency, I can see this amongst all the other stuff that's camo or coyote brown in the back of my Jeep. During cold weather and you've forgotten your gloves, 
you can use bandanas to cover your hands up. Keep them warm. A sling handle for your walking stick. You can wear it as a headband or to hold your hair back. For survival mindset, we make these bandanas up for our Nature Reliance School students and we sell them on the internet um, so that you can remember the law of threes, some um, ways to help maintain your needs, three things you need for a fire, and some uses you can use for this bandana when you're in the field. If you're gonna make a bow drill set, you can use your bandana to pad your hand on your handhold. to use as a can cozy. A tactical tube top. Breeze! To keep the sun off the back of your neck. A hobo's pouch. You can use it as a bookmark. You can use it on your next picnic to clean off a public grill. If you're having a difficulty with a good electrical connection from your battery, you can use a bandana to uh, clean off your battery post, clean off the terminals and all that good stuff. Help make sure you get a good connection. Item of note, another good option is to uh, use Coca-Cola to clean battery terminals off. Think about that the next time you drink it. And number two, if you're having bad connection, just spit on them and wipe the spittle around on top of the terminals to make a better connection. Hey, auto mechanics tip two. As a set of impromptu earmuffs, you could use it to open up a sticky jar top. To pick up a dude. Excuse me, miss, you drop this. You're my knight in shining armor. A super simple belt pouch. Wear it as a cool hat band. We're doing this at a picnic, but this is pretty serious too. You can wet it like I have the one that I have on Zane right now and use it to get out of a smoky building, uh, smoky forest, or to actually use on a picnic for real. Say in a survival situation, you've got to use the cordage off your boots or um, you break the cordage on your boots, your shoes, boot strings. You can take a bandana, widen it out, and at the very least, tie the top of your boot to your leg to help keep it on. You can use it as a pot holder. As a makeshift belt. Fill it up with rocks, make a pouch out of it, use it as a weapon. For a tactical cowboy to wear as a neckerchief and a tactical Native American to wear as a loincloth. <laughs> Get him. Bang. Flight. Either from a canopy or inside your tent or hammock. I wouldn't do this in a moving vehicle, obviously. But if you needed to sunshade and you want to take a nap, keep the sun off of you and put the window up, you can use it as a sunshade. Uh, my son and I recently did one of these mud races. We actually did the Warrior Dash. And I was wearing a bandana uh, to keep the mud out of my eyes, so I guess that's one use. Um, and then what we also happened is that his shoes kept falling off, and so we took the bandana off and tied his shoes to his belt, and then he finished the race about two miles barefooted. So tie your shoes and use as a bandana, bandana use as a mud visor to keep the mud out of your face. You can use it to tether your water bottle to your pack as a one-point rifle sling. Take a couple of extra shirts from your backpack, wrap them up in your bandana, and you can make yourself a nice little pillow. Extra padding for a pack. You can wear it as a bib. You can set it down on the ground so that you can sit on it and not get your bum dirty. 
So in our land nav classes for Nature Reliance School, what we'll do sometimes is set bandanas up in the woods and utilize them as motivators to find certain points, whether we're doing map and compass or uh, GPS, land navigation. And uh, we'll set them up as prizes if first to get to a location, for example, uh, gets to keep the bandana or something like that. It's a great motivator to help people learn good valuable skills. As a two-point rifle sling, to splint your fingers if they're jammed, broken, or otherwise injured. Take a rock, put it inside the bandana, tie the bandana to some paracord, and use this to throw over a limb. So you can pull up a bear can, tie your food up, pull it away, or whatever you want to take up into a tree. You can build a parachute for your little army guys. Cool. As a trump line. In the big cities, we have Crips and Bloods, but here in rural Kentucky, we got the oranges and the camogs. <laughs> so you can see I'm a dude for suggesting this one, but in a worst case scenario, I'm not saying this is good, um, but in a worst case scenario, you can use this as a feminine hygiene product. You can put ice in a bandana and then use it as a code compress. As a dust or debris cover for your rifle. Um, I actually use, I know that uh, the AR or M16 platforms have a dust cover, but um, I actually use this a lot for my muzzle loaders during the rain. I'll have a bandana that I keep in my pouch and put it over the rifle to keep the powder dry. You can get it wet and use it in several methods. Um, you can use it as a cool compress against your neck. You can use it as a washcloth. Uh, it's not that big, but you can at least get the sensitive areas of your body clean. You can use it to, as a filter for pine needle or virtually any other type of tea. as simply as a filter. You can use it for a plate on a little picnic or to hold your food anytime. You can use it as a diaper for a baby if you're out and about and you don't have any diapers left. Middle school little boy antics <laughs> to help find your Jeep in a parking lot as a sling for a dislocated shoulder, broken arm, any number of things. You can use it as a dew collector to gather rainwater off of vegetation and then wring that into your mouth for a survival water source. You can wrap up a gift. Happy birthday. Bye. If you're tracking, you can use it to mark last known point. You can use it to play a game of pin the SE on a tree. No, don't do anything with a knife while you're blindfolded. But you could use it to play a game of pin the tail on the donkey. To help bind a broken wrist, in case you've got a friend that hey, won't hey. shut up about his oh, video mean, games. I made this house in Minecraft and it like goes underground and it's got a tunnel that leads to my um, other friend's house and his house I labeled all the doors and they, uh, they, um, they turn it all around. Out on a picnic or if you're out making YouTube videos for Dan's Depot and you're going to eat lunch you can use it as a cover for your lunch to keep the flies off. To play Kim's game with a bunch of trackers. Take a good look guys. Now, how many patches were there? What colors were they? And what kind of things can you tell me about the guy who owns them? You can guide crawdads into it. Use it as a simple crawdad trap. 
you can use it to cover your eyes for a little daytime nap after lunch. Ah. You can use it as a fly swatter. You can use it as a wound packer to fill in a large wound or actually as a wound cover to cover up a wound to keep debris out of it. If you get almond peanut butter all over you while you're eating your lunch, doing videos for Dan's Depot, ah, nice little napkin. You can be a luchadorian bullfighter so you can look stylish you can use it as a toothbrush especially if you got some cleanser or antiseptic that you can put on your teeth you can also use a couple sticks on this and make basically a seine to shuffle yourself down through the creek or set it up by itself and then turn up the rocks and walk down the creek and let all the chubs, minnows, crawdads, and whatnot go into it and then catch them for survival food. You can use it to help keep earbuds in when you're exercising. You can use it to mark a trail. Make sure you get a 100% cotton bandana because you can then use it as filler in a tinder bundle because cotton burns. If you have one of these big buckles, or actually a little buckle that breaks, you can put the buckle pieces back together as best you can, then wrap the bandana around to hold it. Or if you can't make that work, then just improvise and make uh, the bandana into the strap. That way you've got it, you can carry it very easily. Stuff your bra. You can use it to signal aircraft several different ways, but the first is hold it up to bring attention to yourself, swing it, and do this in threes because threes is a notation of uh, distress. One, two, three. One, two. Hey, trying to get this in the shade so you can see. But you can make char cloth out of it. And you can see I've taken a piece and I left it so you know I'm actually using the bandana. But you can strike it with your flint and steel. And you can get it, the charred piece going and use that in your tender bundle. You can also do that with a ferro rod instead of the flint and steel. After a nice swim in the lake, you can dry off. So, uh, I don't sleep in tents anymore, and the one tent I have is somebody's borrowing it, so I can't show this right now, but basically you can take a bandana, tie it up inside the top of your tent, and you basically make a little gear loft so that you can hang items inside your tent, reach up and get them, and they aren't laying down on the floor and they're easy to get to, flashlight, gun, whatever it might be as a pasta strainer. You got plenty of ready to eat ramen or pasta. You can use it as a tourniquet. to recreate the fight scene from Michael Jackson's Beat It. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Yeah, that was me rapping in there. My bad. So I guess you know why I'm a survival instructor and not a rap star. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, Get out, use your bandanas. We got all kinds of bandanas on dansdepot.com. You can use them for this many uses and as many more as you can think of. If you appreciate it or like this video, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and pass it on to as many people as you can on Reddit, Facebook, Twitter, wherever you want to share it. We really appreciate you doing that. Until next time, I hope to see you on or off the trail.